Welcome back to Midland, Texas Life. My name is Myra McKinley and I serve the amazing people of Midland. Today we're talking all about property lemons, how to spot them. It's cute, it's charming, it's at a great price. You're just about ready to commit, but something just doesn't quite feel right. Today we are going to talk about listening to your gut and the logical ways you can examine a home to determine if that feeling you're getting is actually legit. There are a few big things to look for when it comes to a home. Things like cracks in a foundation or cracks in the corners of the rooms, erosion in the yard, bad smells, rotting or rusting anywhere, standing water where it shouldn't be, mold or water damage on the ceilings. These big items could be deal breakers, but there are also some smaller items to be aware of when you're trying to determine if the house is a safe bet or a money pit in the making. A good inspector can help you pinpoint these issues. Number one, electrical work. Electrical is a big deal, especially in older homes. Flickering lights or switches that don't work are a red flag that there may be more work to be done. Leaky faucets. If water systems aren't working well, it could mean multiple things. Your inspector will check the sinks, tubs, toilets, and showers for leaky faucets, slow draining showers, or rusted drains. Even low water pressure could indicate a bigger issue. So check everything. Mold. This is a big and expensive problem and can be very dangerous. Have your inspector look around carefully to see if anything comes up. I've heard horror stories where someone purchased a home directly from, home, from a homeowner, homeowner and had no idea that they should inspect the property. And when it came time to sell, they had thousands of dollars worth of work that needed to be done before they could, in good conscience, sell to another person. As a realtor, I will work alongside you and a trusted inspector to spot these potential hazards by knowing what to look for and what should be inspected sooner rather than later. I actually encourage my buyers to attend the inspection themselves so that they can speak directly with the inspector before making any decision to move forward in the purchase. A good inspection will point out everything, but there are some items that are not as important as others and that's where I can help. If you're thinking about making a move or just have questions about selling or buying a home, then message me or you can text me at 432-889-4294. As always, no pressure, no sales tactics, just the help and guidance that you need. Finally, if you're a resident of Midland and want to know what's going on around town, then make sure you're following Midland TX Life on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next episode.